today we are using fl studio 21 it has just been released publicly if you have a license because you already know certain people don't have licenses so they'll wait oh yeah i'm coming in spicy but with a healthy alternative of hot takes and pros and cons i want to combine that with the mpc itself and yes you can use the mpc inside of the fl studio via the vst version of the mpc software and you don't need an MPC Live X1 and so, or so forth and so forth because I know it's very expensive. You can actually use this right here, the MPC Studio with the MPC software inside of there, or you can go a different route and use the MPK Mark III or the MPK Mini Plus natively inside of FL Studio and with the MPC software. It's a whole lot of things we got to explore this week. Yeah, let's get it. So the first thing you need to do if you're using the MPC Live X01, any of the standalone MPCs, you will need to plug it up via the USB cord that is provided with your current MPC that you own. So you just plug it up to the back. Watch me struggle to do that as I always do. Ah, there we go. The next thing you need to do is go into menu on your MPC, hit the MPC button right there. If you have a project open, you can either choose to save or don't save. I choose don't save, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. And also it goes without saying that you need this to be plugged up to your computer just in case you have one of those people out there that will say that. Just need to open up FL Studio, of course, because that's what we're using. You know, set up your BPM to whatever you want. Any of those features, I'll set up the pattern to be about 64 now i'm pulling up the mpc software so i just go over here to replace and now you see that the mpc doesn't have that lit up screen anymore now if i press a pad on the mpc you can see that it is actioning off or sending midi information to the mpc software but i can still you know work with fl studio like normal so why would i use the mpc inside of fl studio well there's quite a few reasons why i would do that well, one of the main reasons why is I have MPC expansions like a mug and all those drums are pretty dope. So I'm already over here in the A-Rap Music one. And as you can see, it's playing inside FL Studio. And you can see it being represented at the top part, top middle part of the screen. You can see the audio passing through. So let's go to Neo Soul Quest. I'm gonna go over here and grab that. So I grab that right here and load it up in there and go back to main. So let's go ahead and press record and then press play and get a count in. Let's set up a metronome here. So you see it didn't record anything. I did this on purpose, trust me, because I know someone will do this. So what you need to do, just go ahead and press record and play start on the MPC, and then just press play in FL Studio. And everything is there. I could still continue to make beats inside of the MPC software inside of FL Studio. Just go to a different track and I can actually use like the sample based features from the MPC Live 2 inside of FL Studio. But what I'll do is just use a separate track that has nothing to do with the MPC. But I actually own this FL Key 37 by Novation and it is one of the best controllers for fl studio like hands down it's probably the best in my opinion but you know so what i'll do is i'll pull up a plug-in i pulled a serato sample instead of slice x because i still think that slice x again is one of my gripes it they still haven't improved that and i'll pull up you know a sample that i like from one of the packs here i have it linked in the description box one of the new cool features that i will compliment fl studio on and that's because by nature they added 
favorites and you know i think that's cool all you have to do is just highlight your favorite sample and then just click on that and then it'll appear right here and i think that's cool uh, however i didn't notice and it might be just with the mpc software up uh, i do not get any audio from you know pressing play on it anymore unless they change it to alt or some shit let's go ahead and record that in real quick so record let's get it FL Studio and this weird works. Hey. Mm hmm. Yeah. Another workflow quirk that I would like to show you would be this right here. So I'm inside of the MPC software right now. And let's see the MPC and how it looks like right now. Uh, I think if you click off of it, then it shows in red. No? Oh, that's dope. So, <laughs> FL gang, y'all win. But other than that, yeah, so. We have the drums inside of here. I can play them, you know, uh, but we're, perhaps we want to work with more stuff inside of the MPC and we want to use like different percussion and stuff like that. Well, if you happen to look over here, you can see you can export audio and export MIDI. So what I'm going to do is export audio. If I click on that, it will export this audio and then I can go over here into the arranger right here or the playlist inside FL Studio, and then just drag it over. So yeah, now that I have that, and I have that established, you know, I could just do other things to the audio that I want to do. Now it goes without saying, I have to show off this new feature since I'm talking about the playlist here. Uh, the FL Studio has the ability to crossfade. Congrats, FL gang. You just got a feature that every other DAW has since 1992. I'm just saying. Nonetheless, though, you still have that feature and it's there. <laughs> and you can, you know, just turn up the volume, pump up the volume bass. But since it's like MPC drums, we don't need to do that. I wonder if you can reset. Yes, you can reset gain. Okay, they thought about that. What about resetting the fade out? Absolutely. And yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just grab the old, good old fashioned cut tool, cut off that loose end there. And then I'll go back into the pencil tool which is a pain in the ass to do that. And then just go ahead and do that. And let's go into song mode real quick, grab the MIDI and boom, uh, we have something new, something funky and fresh, and we can listen to it right here uh, without the drum. So let's go back into that track, boom, and then turn the MPC, like I'll mute it and, and that's just the audio. And you can hear how large the drums are just from the print. And so that's one way alternatively to get louder drums or get the MPC type drums. And you can continue to go on about your business. I'm not a huge fan of FL Studios plugins per se, just to keep it real. I mean, I know you EDM guys love the baseline stuff in here, but hip hop people operate differently. I'm just saying. So what I'm going to do is go back into the MPC software and seeing that, you know, I've used Serato sample, which is a, a superior sampler. I can see that it's an A minor right here. So I can go into the MPC software and then just configure a few things. So let's go ahead and go into, you know, track number two. And then I'll select the plugin here. Then I'll go into the MPC plugins, grab what I call one of my favorites baseline right here and I will add a baseline you know via that I'll go in here sub sign and then I'll configure the note mode right here or I just play it out on my keyboard the way I want to so I'm gonna cheat you know because why not it's right here so a natural minor and I'll set it up in that in that regard all right so let's get it And then we can just change the patch. And 
And you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and since I'm in here, I'm gonna add Mini D in this mug. Cause I, why not? <laughs> Uh, raise the, the transpose. And then I'll go to another track. Track and then press the plus sign. And I just have to wait for the other plugin to pull up here. Because <laughs> I got a, a third party plugin in here. And let's see if I can find some cool stuff. You already know the vibes if you know me. I'm gonna go and get me a veil. All right. I think 80s bell will do it. And I will lower the volume on here. the process again rinse and repeat process uh, now that I'm on track three I'll just go ahead and just bounce down the audio from right here you know and it, it's kind of cool to have the audio summing inside of FL studio because you get a little bit more flexibility uh, as far as uh, different takes on it you no know? not necessary but the fact that you have better editing tools inside of FL studio now uh, you have the all healthy alternative to like just control things. So now let's talk about that new multi delay in that reverb that's in FL Studio 21. So I got the new multi band delay up here and I'm going to just want to mess with it for. I'm not gonna lie to you that sounds cool as hell and the fact that you can morph things in between it and automation in FL studio I ain't gonna lie to you I much prefer it over the other guys even though it is easier in Ableton it seems like it's more satisfying in FL studio and that might be because I've used FL studio almost all my life so let's try out Lux verb I whoa Want some more here? Let's do unwieldy gate. FL gang, I hate you guys, but damn, a lot of cool stuff in this new update. Fuck it, I ain't gonna hate. 